thing about it is that like Brawl Zero Suit and Smash Bros. Zero Suit play pretty similarly. Mm -hmm. It's just that they're like, what if Zero Suit was a really good character? Now? Yeah, instead of uh, <laughs> instead I'm of Brawl Zero Suit, with memes. Yeah, now you're Brawl Zero Suit, but with a lot better tools hey, just in general. Hey, stock Brawl, she's broken. <laughs> she was having a good time then, but we got we're starting on Battlefield. Like you said, definitely gonna benefit Ness. Yeah, really great stage for both both characters again. Probably why we're striking to him. Yeah, but if we grab, not gonna get something started on the platforms. It's too early to get these up air strings going. I Takes, like him trying to catch yeah. the landing with the laser, but uh, Austin mixing up his his landings again. Austin, you're a madman. Why did? <laughs> Who knows? Don't ask questions. You Go know the there's downer. no answer. Yeah. Austin's got some interesting options. <laughs> oh, no. Normally when I say interesting, I mean bad. This time I just mean I am dumbfounded. <laughs> You're just confused. Yeah. Everyone is. Wow. That, re <laughs> that really made Dakpo have to think about that recovery. And then he just falls on him with up hair. Austin's putting out so much damage with his PK Thunder. Wow. That was... That was Smart good. by Dipo realizing that was how he had to get back to the stage. Uh, a lot of a lot of ZSS players might not have been able to make it back, but even smarter by Austin. Go into Austin's head and see what's going on in there. Oh, that was odd. That was interesting. And mixing up his landings. But I like that Dipo doesn't commit to anything to try to catch his landing. He just like holds position. A lot of people would get impatient just because of how far down Dakpo is, but Dakpo knows if he plays clean, he can still do it. Austin getting the great spot dodge there, not getting caught by the tether grab. And every time he does, he gets a pretty big punish. Ooh, I mean, big fire I like it's it. just a grab, but it's Ness's grab. So Yeah. Ness, Ness has one of the most devastating grabs in the game, that's for sure. Okay, that was smart. Austin curved the PK Thunder under Dakpo because he saw he was what going for the uppers to try to cut right through it. Right, messed up his timing, pushed him back off stage, created, just extended the edge guard sequence into death. And Dakpo, early on when nobody knew what the heck to do against Ness, was a big proprietor of, hey, if he's PK thundering at you, you gotta hit it. Yeah. Hit the head so that it stops chasing after you. So Dakpo's yeah. trying to do that. But then Austin's like, okay, if you're gonna try to up air it, I'm going to go blow you. Mm -hmm. How do you like that? What, starting the game <laughs> with the PK Thunder? He heard someone say PK Thunder. I was like, ah, I like that move a lot. All right, let's go. I am taking requests from the crowd. <laughs> Austin it was, is definitely the type of player to take requests from the crowd. But it's about with the back air. I do think Ness also, like Peach, has slow jump. So the way Dakpo plays Diddy Kong, where he likes to corner people a lot with the banana and just like keep them there is really good against Ness. Yeah, uh, Diddy Kong's fair, pretty oppressive for Ness at the yeah. ledge. Makes it very hard for him to get back on. That he has to... And, like, full up double back air. Yeah. it's That's a wall that's tough to get around for anyone, but especially characters like Ness. Mm -hmm. But Ness with a banana is pretty terrifying, in my opinion. Yeah. Banana's so. just a good projectile. Yeah, any character with a banana is automatically better. Some characters even more so than others. Yeah, uh, that's for sure. Luigi? Ness, Luigi with bananas. Ness sometimes. off a knockdown. Ooh, that's a scary character. Mm -hmm. Or throws him off. I don't agree with throwing the banana in that situation, but it doesn't really affect him too much. No, he's able to reset. He's got the banana at the ledge. Ooh, throws it down, misses his mark. He was probably trying to use that to uh, intercept the PK Thunder, but Austin took a little bit of extra time there. Oh, yeah. I wanted him to fall right into that up air, but that was a risky call out. Cool. Just waits for the air dodge and runs to catch it. Ness might have a lot of aerial drift, but... Uh, I mean, when you start right above Diddy Kong in that space, he's going to be able to catch you yeah. as long as he didn't commit too early. Austin really didn't have any mix-up of where he was going to go at that point. No platforms. Good job crossing up with the upper, putting Dakpo in the air. Now he's going to have to land. is able to monkey flip away, but now he's in the corner. The double MT out, but Dakpo just waits for it. There's the, the Austin special. Falling just with throw the big out head. your big head. It's like Austin's been experimenting a lot more with down air recently. I saw the down side of the ledge and I was like, he's gonna put so amazing. <gasps> Panic. Ooh, yeah. Those are the moments where e either Austin's going to die or Dakpo's going to die. I'll, oh. I'll give Dakpo the benefit of the doubt and say he would have teched it. Yeah, oh yeah, but 
But that's a scary moment. Jeez, no then, you're, what. then you still have to recover. Yeah, you still. It's and, still scary no matter what. And as Diddy, you don't have the quickest recovery in the world. You know, yeah. if you go low enough, it can be rough. I mean, I think last week we saw Austin versus Dakpo, and there were some ridiculous moments where Dakpo got the tech mm -hmm. when he uh, went for the PK Thunder 2 edge guard, and he still died. Oh, the dash pass went for the pivot grab, it looked like, but he caught, got caught up in his, his turnaround. Wow, catching the monkey flip of the neutral air. Did he's in the corner. He oh. jumped over the yo-yo. Oh, he survived. I am so surprised he lived that. More back there should do it, though. Oh, my God, the double. Mm -hmm. That was Austin Euro Savant. Yeah, definitely didn't intend to just fly into the air with the barrels. Maybe he wanted yeah. to use the barrels and crash into the stage. Maybe. Uh, that is, I've definitely seen Dipo go for similar stuff before. He does go for some, yeah, that was, he goes for some odd stuff, but. But missing the angle, just falling helplessly. Going to charge that yo-yo once more.